Hello everyone. Today I'll show you how to create a personalized AI agent using Typing Mind Custom. If you want to know more about Typing Mind Custom, please visit custom.typingmind.com. AI agents are a very helpful way to interact with AI without having to reprompt. You can personalize the AI to make it respond better with your specific information, data, and so on. There are many ways to make your AI agent smarter and more responsive. It can be trained via prompts or system instructions. It can also be trained through API fetches to retrieve real-time data or with your own internal data. Okay, let's get started. First, access your chat instance, select the AI agent section, then click Create AI Agent. Start by entering the name of your AI agent. For this case, I will create a travel guide. If you want your members to see and chat with this AI agent, toggle on Pin the Agent. Enter a description for your agent to let your users know what it's about. Add a profile picture to make your AI agent more lifelike. For the system instruction, you can fill it out manually, which acts like a guide or a prompt for the AI to answer your questions better. Or you can use the autofill content with AI feature. Pick a model and let it fill it out for you based on the description you just entered. Okay, it's working now. You can modify these or just keep the generated result. I recommend you turn on the override system instructions toggle because it helps the AI agent follow the specific system instruction you set. Now let's move to the most interesting part. We call it dynamic context. It allows you to retrieve content from an API and inject it into the system prompt. This can be used to add live information to the AI or implement retrieval augmented generation from your own data sources, like a vector store database. The basic flow of the dynamic context works like this. When users send a question, the server, which is typing mind server, if you're using the cloud hosted version, or your own server, if it's self-hosted, receives that question. The server then makes an API call to your endpoint URL and receives the result from the endpoint. After that, it sends that result along with the original question sent by users to the selected LLM model. The LLM model processes and returns the AI answer back to the server. Finally, the server sends that answer back to the user. Okay, let's integrate an API with the agent in Typing Mind Custom. Click Add Endpoint. There are some fields that need to be filled out. Context name, HTTP method, endpoint URL. I chose the Skyscanner API via Rapid API for this example. Let's pick the Flight Slash Airports API. This API will fetch the info on all airports. Take a look at its URL and headers. These are things that should be included when sending requests. Now let's integrate it with the agent in Typing Mind Custom. Give it a name in context name. Choose an HTTP method. In this case, it's GET. Input the endpoint URL as stated on the web. Next is adding headers. Copy all the info into the headers field. Remember to replace all the single quotes with double quotes to match the JSON format. Then click Test Endpoint to see if it works. OK, cool. We've successfully added an API now. But as you can see, the results are quite extensive, roughly over 1 million characters. To save cost and time, you can enable the cache option. For example, I set it to not refresh for about 20 hours. OK, let's finish this part and move on to other fields. The welcome message was auto-filled by the AI previously, but you can modify it yourself. Add conversation starters to suggest some initial messages for the user to choose from at the start of the conversation. Users here to manage which users are allowed to access the AI agent. Then there's the accessibility of training data section. You have a few options here. If you want to add internal training data, select allow access to all training data or training data with tags. And you can add tags for the uploaded data later. Let's leave that for now and I'll guide you on how to add training data soon. 
Training examples are helpful if you want the AI to answer in a specific format or with particular types of questions. I'll skip this for now. For the assigned model, I picked GPT-4 for this agent. There are other model options. Feel free to pick one that suits your needs. You can also assign plugins to aid the AI, such as a web search, perplexity search, and other built-in plugins. You can develop your own plugins too and use them with the AI agents. Under text-to-speech settings, you can assign the AI agent a voice. This is optional, so let's pick one. Okay, done. Click Save to save this agent. All right, we've created a new AI agent, and now you're members and you can use this agent in the chat instance. But if you want to add training data for the agent to make it understand your internal data, then move to the training data part. If you don't need it now, you can skip this part. Click Add Data Source, then Connect. There are several integrations to choose from, such as Box, Dropbox, File Upload, and others. I'll use Google Spreadsheet for this example. Click on it, grant access, and pick the files to connect. Well done. The training data is now up. The agent can access the training data. You can add tags to the data if needed. Now let's have a chat with your agent to test if it works. Let's ask something like, how many airports are there in Tokyo? Here's its answer. And based on what I know, this answer is correct. Now let's check if it accessed the training data. Here is its answer. I'll show you my data to confirm. For example, check trip ID 8, start date and end date are correct. Another trip ID, 135. All correct. Okay, cool. That's it. This is how you can create your own smart AI agents with system instructions, dynamic context with API access, training data. If you find this helpful, please hit like and subscribe. If you have any questions or need a tutorial, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you soon.